Hello, and welcome back to this game, The Cat La Lady, which is a very weird, but actually quite a good game. Um, last video I got a knock on the door from this woman who's wanted to get, wanted to rent, basically rent the spare room off me, found out that she was, that she was one of the people who was meant to be dying and, and stuff, and then I suddenly, it's a, then it's only cut to this room here, where then he was going on about how basically, how he wants to see my pussy cat. So, um, but yeah, and that's exactly where I left it after him saying that. So, okay, the choices are, touch me and I'll kill you, you sick bastard. Please, don't hurt me, just let me go. You're a dead man, you just don't know it yet. Um, okay, um. Touch me and I'll kill you, you sick bastard. I fucking mean it. You have no idea who I am. <laughs> You're just the crazy cat lady. That's all you are. Soon I'll be the crazy cat lady who blew your brains out all over these fucking walls, pal. So laugh while you can. It's not long now. What's going on in there? What the hell? Who's this? Did you play with this little bitch behind my back? Cause if you did, I swear to God... Me? I'd never do that. You know me, honey. You're the only girl for me. This lady here will join us for dinner. That's all. For what? Take the goddamn mask off when you talk to me. You know damn well I can't stand it. And make sure you put it back in the van so you don't fucking lose it again. Okay, okay. So who is this person? Alright. I was just saying, uh, she, she's here for dinner. Good. Dinner. I'm starving. And I'm sick to death of them bloody cats! What the hell is going on? You nasty little whore! Trying to seduce my husband in my own home? How bloody rude! Get away from me! What? I wasn't trying, trying anything! Who the fuck are ye? Um, what? I wasn't what? trying anything. I wasn't trying anything. Shut up, you stupid bitch. I know what you're up to. You kept staring at him with these big green eyes. You want him, don't you? You think you can take him from me? <laughs> no. Well, I've got just the thing. I always keep this bottle handy. It's bleach. The strongest you can get. You give me no choice. I can't risk losing him. I have to make sure he won't be attracted to you anymore. Am I gonna get burnt or you something? You won't this need one? these eyes and this face much longer anyway. Right. Ooh. Ouch. Bleach in the eye. That's not, that's not going to be nice. At all. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. Right. Okay. What the hell? Oh, I'm the cat! Hello! Can I do anything? Okay, I'll I try and move this off then. Okay. I'm the little cat! Cool! I'm Teacup! Whatever his name is. Hey, there we go. <laughs> cool! I'm actually playing as the cat. This is quite cool. 
Good do job, Danny. That's not looking good. Jump in. <laughs> this is well cool playing as the cat. <laughs> okay. Come on, cat. Come on, teacup. Bring me a cup of tea. Okay. Hey there. Gorgeous. I see my old lady brought the bleach again. What a shame. I really liked your eyes. <laughs> it could have been a start of something uh, very exciting for us, if you know what I mean. <laughs> she does that every single time. What do they call it? Trust issues. <laughs> That's it. Well, never mind. Plenty more fish in the sea. I I'm not too fussy, but even I have some standards. Ain't gonna touch a bird like you, I gotta be honest, girl. You look like shit. Harsh. But I wouldn't want you to think I'm not a kind man. Uh, uh, plenty of time until dinner, and y you're in pain, so... I've brought something to end your suffering. Think of it as an option. I've got this gun here. It's one of my favourites. There's just one bullet in the chamber. Large calibre. You'd you be long dead before you'd feel any pain. Sounds good, doesn't it? I mean, it's, ju it's just an idea, you know, no pressure. Ah, of course, you can't see it. That bleach turns your eyes to nothing but jelly. I'm mortal, you can't kill me. So I'll just leave it for you here. Feel free to use it. That, that bullet's meant for you anyway. I'd better go now. We won't want to get caught red-handed again, would we? You naughty minx. <laughs> what was that? You can't reach it. Well, what did you expect? Life's a real fucker sometimes. Yeah, what can you do for me, kitty cat? Okay, we're on a mission. I don't know, don't quite know what we're doing, but oh, there's a key. Swallow the key. Okay, I got a key. Oh, stay still. Don't move. Oh great, he's blocking the pathway to get back to the vent. I oh, know. Yeah, he's, he's he's right there. He's gonna see me. How am I going to do this? Okay, let's just go for it. Nope. Okay, I don't think so. How the hell am I going to get past here then? Can I do anything with this key? Nope. Okay. Ah! How am I going to get past him? I don't know. I'll just go back as a pause here. I have no idea what to do. Every time I get back here, it just... I don't know. No. Is it, is it about timing? Hey, there you go, it's about timing. Cool, okay. What? No, back out. No? Okay. I'm meant to be doing something. Why can't I get back? Why can't I get in here? I was in there, but now I'm not. 
Get in there. Thank you. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. Alright, okay. Let's head back then. I've got a key. I assume I can un unlock um, Susan's chains or whatever it is now. Okay. Can I like jump down or something? I don't know. Key. Spit out. There we go. What? Who's this? My eyes. I can't. I can't see a thing. That bitch. Is T Cup mine? Who are you? Say something. Anything. I. I should be able to unlock the handcuffs now. What's going on now then? It's just a black screen. Ooh. Anything? Oh, the gun. Okay, found the gun. Take the gun. Okay. Off no! The no! 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 I dropped it. Where is it? Where the hell is it? Oh. Seriously, woman. Okay. It's all okay. Floor, search floor. I've got it. Cool. <laughs> oh god, I can't see anything. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna carry on going this way. No. It's all about sound. Okay. Can't seem to do anything with it. Why would I want to shoot myself? I'm sorry, Mitzi. I have to break my promise. I guess I'm immortal, so it won't really matter, I guess. But... I oh, don't know. You are dead. Right. I am dead. But I wake up again and I'm fine? Maybe? No idea. Death is nothing at all. You have only six. Slipped away the way into the next room. Hey, you're blocking. Hope you don't oh, mind creepy posters. It's your room. You can do what you like with it, but I definitely prefer this to fairies, rainbows, <laughs> and pink unicorns. Yeah, same. Did you make these? No. My boyfriend made them. Some of them, anyway. So, Miss Ashworth, I happen to have a bottle of wine in my bag. I was going to leave it to Robert, but I forgot all about it. Robert? The guy with the rats? Oh, yes. Of course. So, shall we have a drink then? We could get to know each other a bit more. I know, I promise I won't get in the way. And, I mean, you don't have to if you don't feel like it. But since we're going to live together for a little while, it won't hurt if we talk to each other, will it? Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Are you sure you can drink in your... And I don't know what that could be. Are you sure you can drink in your condition? It won't make me any worse, that's for sure. I'm not on any cancer medication. I feel good. The way I see it, I haven't got much time left, so I might as well make the most of it. That makes sense, I suppose. We can have a drink if you like. Great! I'll bring the wine! Oh, damn. It's one of those bottles with a cork. Have you got a bottle opener, Miss Ashworth? In the kitchen. I'll go get it, shall I? Yes, please. And while you're there, could you get a couple of glasses, too? Yeah, right. Okay, bottle opener and two glasses. Coming right up. 
Okay. Now the long walk back to the kitchen. You know, she, she probably needs to go to the toilet. She's probably dying for a wee, but I'm not gonna let, I'm not gonna get let her go yet. Cupboard? Could I be in the cupboard? Do you think? Corkscrew. And there's no mug in there. There would be a mug in a fridge, would there? Okay, where would the mugs be? Uh, I don't know. There has to be some mugs around here somewhere. Mugs, mugs, mugs. Is there going to be a mug in the balcony? Nope. Where's the mugs? Where's the mugs? Not mugs, glasses even. I knew what I meant. Is there going to be any in my bedroom? Let's say we're in the um, in the kitchen, but I couldn't see where they could be. Let's go back. Glasses, not mugs. <laughs> right, okay. Where could the glasses be? There wouldn't be any in there, would there? Nah. That'd be too obvious. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be obvious, I guess. As you wouldn't really get them in a cabinet. But, I don't know. So what if there wasn't any in there? There wouldn't be any in the fridge. Of course there won't be any in the fridge. No. Of course not. Where are these stupid... Where would the glasses be? I have no idea. There won't be any, any in... Oh, take wine glasses. They were in there. <laughs> Why would you put them in the cabinet? I have no idea. We put it to put our wine glasses in the, in the kitchen, but... Okay. Oh, why am I going out in the balcony? Spare, spare bedroom. I knew what I meant. <laughs> okay. Spare bedroom. Enter. Okay. Got, got some got wine glasses and stuff. Then. Have you found oh. that corkscrew yet? We'll yeah. also need some wine glasses. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Here it is. Give. There you go. Let's get that bottle open. Yeah. But we'll need glasses too. See if you can find some. I've got some glasses, you stupid woman. I found some wine glasses. Ta da! Alright! That's all we need. Oh, yes. Miss Ashworth, I really must say this before we start. Yeah? I promise I won't cut your throat when you're asleep. Oh, I thank you. <laughs> Very funny, Mitzi. Oh, no, I mean it. That's fine. But just so you know. I always sleep with my eyes open. Very poserish there. So, the big C. Want to talk about it? Oh, it's not rain anymore. How are you planning to find this guy? Oh, why not talk about it? So, the big C. Want to talk about it? Well, to be honest, I didn't really want to tell you about it like that. I put you in a very difficult position, I know. It's just that I was really desperate to get this room. I hope you can understand. This is the last and most important thing I must do. Before my time is up. It's fine. You seem alright. It's just... I find it hard to trust people these days. Maybe it's time I opened my eyes to see others have problems too. Some, like yourself, even bigger than mine. What kind of cancer is it? Do you mind me asking? Brain tumour. Her name is glioblastoma. Huh. Yep, they're all girls, the way I imagine it. Just look at their names. Lymphoma, melanoma, myeloma, leukemia, sarcoma. Each of them a fucking goddess of death. Beautiful and ruthless. Hmm, you might just be right about that, Mitzi. I used to be a nurse. I know a few things about cancer. And I know glioblastoma. She's a real bitch. Yeah, 
And yet she gets to be the prom queen before night ends, while I disappear down the back exit. How long? They said I had a year. But that was six months ago, so... Yeah. Not awfully long. Is there anything... They've tried. I'm sorry. Yeah. So am I. Do you want to talk about something else? Yeah, um... <laughs> Oh, it's not raining oh, anymore. It's not raining anymore. Oh well. I don't mind rain. Sometimes I even like it. But according to weather forecast, there's a nasty fog coming. Now that I'm actually scared of. I got lost in a fog once, when I was just nine or ten. I remember I sat under a tree crying, thinking some monster would appear right in front of me and drag me away. But now that you're a big girl, you know there are no monsters. Yeah? How do you know? I've never never seen one, nor ha has anyone else. The only monster are th us mur murderous rapists. Maybe you're right. Well, uh, I believe in them. Now let's go straight to the point. Maybe you're right. I will believe in them when I see one. With this fog approaching fast, you might be in luck, Miss Ashworth. I am so glad I'm not spending another night outside. I might be a big girl now, but there will always be a part of me that is frightened, I guess. Did you know they actually have a name for it? It's called homiclophobia. Fear of fog. We are living in crazy times, Mitzi. How are you planning to find this guy? How are you planning to find this guy? I don't know yet. A bit of detective work, perhaps. It shouldn't be that hard, really. There are only eight apartments here. One is yours. That leaves us with seven. I was hoping that you could give me a hand, actually. You know some of your neighbors, don't you? Not many. I never really cared about them. They changed over the years, too. You probably also figured by now that this is not the sort of place where new neighbors are greeted with a freshly baked cake. You see a new face, you give them a blank stare as you pass them in the hall, and you forget about them a minute later. That bad, eh? Well, there's that bull guy who lives above me in flat five. He came here recently to shout in my face. He's a nasty piece of work, but I really don't think he's the person you're looking for. What does he do for a living? I think he's a train driver. I can't imagine somehow that my guy would be a train driver. Okay, that's good. Leaves us with just six. Anyone else you know? I'd have to think. You know, maybe not tonight. Let's just talk about something else, okay? I have plenty of time. There's no need to rush this. Maybe tomorrow we could sit down together and make a plan. I could draw a simple map of the building and with your help mark down who lives where. Sounds good to me, Mitzi. You mentioned a boyfriend. Tell me something about you that. You mentioned a boyfriend? Tell me something about him. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about him. His name is Jack. He's dead. Huh. Oh. Miss Ashworth, are you sure you want to listen about my miserable life? I don't want to bring you down. These aren't happy stories. And I'm not a happy stories kind of person. I'm sure you've noticed by now. I guess so. Anyway, I suppose I would have had to tell you about Jack sooner or later. After all, he is the main reason I'm here. I just... don't know where to start. Uh, let's find out more about this Jack person in the next video. I shall, because this, this is run, getting quite long here, so... Yes, it's been an, in, yet another interesting video, and uh, I shall carry another... I shall record another one literally straight after. So, thank you for watching this video, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye! Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, then please hit that subscribe button down below. If you want to see the previous video, then click the left annotation. 
If you want to see the next video, please click the right annotation. And once again everyone, thank you for watching. This is Dr. Devoti and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye!